good morning good morning good morning you guys happy friday today is the big event the gala and then tomorrow is marvis's cotillion so today is going to be a get ready with me video i'm just strictly going to make this video about the gala today and you guys are going to watch me get ready i might show a little bit of my cousin charmel i'm not for sure yet though because we we just been having some issues with her where she had bought a dress and it didn't fit so she's just been struggling to try to find something to wear and i don't know if she's going to want to be on camera because she's stressing out right now and she got my anxiety at an eight because i really want us both to have a good time but it just seemed like she's just stressed out about what she's going to look like today and which i totally understand you know being concerned about my own weight however i am maintaining my weight and getting it to a comfortable place where I'm comfortable even in all my clothes but I get how she feels totally but I've been doing some running around and I'm like let me go ahead and do what I need to do real quick before she gets to my house because she wants me to do her makeup of course and help her get ready which gives me four hours I'm gonna run and get myself something to eat I gotta put gas in my car cuz I'm at a quarter of a tank. I had to take Tasha out of town yesterday and it just depleted my gas. So I gotta go put, put some more gas in my car so I can be ready for this event and then the next one tomorrow. But I just wanted to come check in with you guys. I did pick up my dress, the one that I showed you guys. I had to take it to the cleaners cause honey, I don't know who said turning the hot water on in the bathroom and let your bathroom steam and put like an outfitters or whatever is wrinkled really bad in the bathroom and it'll take all the wrinkles out honey that did not work for the dress so i had to take it to the cleaners and let them steam it and it it, it looks beautiful you guys i paid the same amount i paid for the dress to get the little wrinkles out which is fine it is what it is i'm sweating it that's just one less stressful thing i gotta worry about tomorrow being paranoid if I'm looking wrinkly at least I know the dress is gonna be okay for the event tomorrow it's just getting through today so hang in there with me you guys we are going to take you along on this journey a lot of the clips that I will show at the Akron Art Museum will probably be muted just letting you guys know that up front just for the simple fact that they will be playing music and it is copyright so I will have to just put some background music that won't get copyright behind whatever it is that they're doing. And then we will end that video with just, you know, the get ready with the gala. And then we'll do the same with the cotillion tomorrow. So I will catch up with y'all in a minute, fam, when it's time to get ready.
Alright you guys, I'm all done getting ready, so let me just check in real quick before we go to the festivities. I'm not feeling too good about myself right now. I don't really care too much for my hair. My wig keeps lifting, and I don't know why I've tacked it down and tacked it down and tacked it down. So I won't be wearing this wig tomorrow. Uh, um, Charmelle's struggling. She on a struggle bus. She says she'll be here about 5, 5, 15. We're going to be late for the gala. I didn't want to be late because I didn't know how soon they were going to start, if they were going to start on time, or if they was going to be on color folk time and, you know, Y'all know how we can do sometime. But nonetheless, I still wanted to get there early because I wasn't for sure about parking. So if I got to walk, I'm in heels. And really, honestly, you probably wouldn't tell if I took these heels off. Oh, you can see I'm just a little bit, just a little bit. But anyhow, you guys, um, let me open up this door and show y'all what I'm looking like. Okay, so this is my entire outfit on. And like I said, you can see my shoes a little bit. I was going to change, but let me not be ghetto. But that's what we're working with. And I'll see y'all in a bit, fam. Y'all, go figure. I get down here park in the parking deck across the street from the Akron Art Museum, I can literally see the red carpet from where I am parked, y'all. I have one of the best parking spots that you can get. I'm getting ready to call my cousin right now and let her know that if it's at all possible that she can get dropped off, just let somebody drop her off because it's about to get real congested. I do see people that are here that are going to the event that got a good parking spot as well but i think a lot of these parking spots that are open over here are people that work over here and they're leaving because it's after five but that kind of caught my nerves a little bit that i'm not looking for a place to park and i'm literally right across the street like i'm getting ready to show y'all how close i am that's the Akron Art Museum right there, you guys. You see the red carpet? That's how close I am. That's nothing but God. Won't even do it. If you live stream this, please come to the DJ booth, come to the stage. One more time, give her a round of applause.
guys. So I finally made it back home. I done already done started stripping out my dang on jewelry, y'all. Cause, whew, child, I'm over it. I'm ready to get out this dress and everything. I did have to charge up my phone for a few minutes though. I literally was on 16% when I got home and I needed to charge up long enough just to end this video. We had an amazing night. It started off a little rocky though. They definitely was on black people time. They didn't let us in until 6.07. My cousin didn't get there until like 6.30. They didn't start the actual show until about 7.30, 7.45, somewhere up in there. And then toward the end of the show, he wanted to do some closing announcements. And it just seemed like people was all over the place. He was asking people to have a seat so they could finish out. And it's just, you know do their final remarks or whatnot and people just was doing their own thing taking pictures people were leaving people were gathered in their little groups or whatnot and I just felt like it was just it was so disrespectful but overall the show was amazing I loved his whole entire line I love the fact that his line is based off of customizing. So there's nothing that you can walk into the boutique and just grab off the shelf unless he has pieces that are just there and you can fit them. Mostly all of his stuff is going to be tailor made to fit, but he had some amazing pieces and I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely could see myself wearing this. It was a good event. It turned out to be awesome. We got one more event we got to do tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be wearing this wig. I had <sighs> a hard time even with this wig today and I don't know why I had so many issues trying to tack this wig down but it was giving me the business so I don't think I want to wear it tomorrow and if I do wear it tomorrow I think I'm gonna switch it up a little bit I don't know but as of right now I just don't think I'm gonna be wearing this wig anyhow you guys I hope you enjoy the clips that I got I'm going to narrow it down because I know it was a lot of clips that you could hardly see the people when they were coming by. So I think I'm going to go ahead and delete those out. And then the, the footage that you guys see is the ones that I feel like, okay, that was good enough. But yeah, I will see y'all on another one real soon, fam. Bye, guys.